What's up, y'all? Just popping up with a quick post-fight reaction, man. Teofimo Lopez. Man, prove me wrong. And I'm glad the young man won, man. He was the hungrier guy. He came out early. He put the pressure on Loma. Wouldn't let him get set. He was cutting off the ring. Um, you know, pressuring him to where Loma was scared to throw. He landed some excellent body shots. Um, and I think the power that he felt in those body shots earlier um, was inside of Loma's head. Um, and it took him until the second half of the fight to really, for Loma to even try to do anything. But um, what was interesting to me, man, is when Loma came on, Tiafimo stopped going to the body. So around the sixth round, um, he stopped. He may have threw some body shots, but he stopped landing those big thunderous body shots. And that's when... Uh, Lomachenko got back into the fight. You know, he was smothering Tiafimo, but, you know, I thought he was, because of the way the fight turned, that he was in the young man's head. But what I loved is in the 11th round, he went back to throwing those body shots. And I want to point out, too, that the judges and everybody or the, the ref, whoever, you know, is calling these little signals and stuff, knew that... Tiafimo was up. They, you know, Lomachenko turned dirty, started throwing the headbutts and and stuff like that. You know, not 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 a whole lot of it, but you know, he he started uh, deploying the dirty tactics to get inside his head with little to no warning. But that one low blow, which really was right on the belt line, it wasn't that crucial. You know, they were setting it up to where if he did land a low blow after that, they were going to take a point from Lopez, which I'm glad never happened. But, um, you know, none of that got inside the young man's head. He kept the pressure on. Um, you know, he let up in the middle, and, and, and Loma did his thing. But, you know, Loma was like a cornered animal, so, you know, he had to respond. How many rounds was he supposed to give away? He had to do something. And when he did, you know, he had success. Um, but once Lopez got back in his mindset and he started to return back to going to the body that opened up the rest of his offense and allowed him to secure the win, you know? So there in the, even in the late rounds, um, despite losing, you know, four or five rounds in a row, he came back and he, Lopez came back and he won the 11th and 12th. He focused, he bit down, he did what he had to do. He showed me something, man, showed me something, you know, you always want to know how good a fighter really is. And when they're up against the big test and don't take nothing away from um, Lomachenko, don't take nothing away from Lopez win. Everybody wanted to call Lomachenko the number one pound for pound fighter. Well, Lopez just beat the number one pound for pound fighter, you know, best in the world. That's what y'all wanted to call him. And he whooped up on him and he won. So don't take nothing away from his win. Big win, major win. He beat what in many people's eyes was the best guy in the sport and he did it in spectacular fashion you know it didn't end in a knockout he had to go the distance um but i can't wait to see what he does next so salute tiafimo lopez i know my pick was wrong he showed me something and i'm ready to see what this young man does next